Now my colleague, uh, good afternoon. The topic today is erysipelas. Uh, erysipelas is infection of skin which caused by beta hemolytic streptococ uh, and group A uh, and uh, it's characterized by the fever, intoxication, in inflammation of the skin, increasing uh, regional lymphatic nodes, and syndrome of intoxication. Infection agent uh, is bacteria streptococ, beta hemolytic streptococ group A. Sources of infection in the patients with streptococcal infection, with chronic forms of streptococcal infection. Uh, mechanism of transmission is aerogenic and contact. Uh, what cofactor of those infections is uh, obesity uh, and uh, chronic tonsillitis, immunosuppressions, uh, the uh, patient with uh, chronic disease or of oral cavity, Atitis, pharyngitis, uh, varicose veins, uh, lymphostasis, thrombophlebitis, infection of skin, for example, mycosis of feet, trophic ulcers, injuries, and uh, others, destruction of the skin. Uh, so, and we know that. Erysipelas is an endogenic infection and uh, streptococ penetrate to the skin, then its reproduction in connective tissue, penetrate to blood, formation of bacteremia, it causes the increasing of the temperature, syndrome of intoxication, synthesis of exotoxins, activation of phagocytes, macrophages, which cause the destruction of uh, bacteria and increasing concentration of uh, endotoxin in blood, which cause the destruction of blood vessels, formation of thrombosis of blood vessels, increasing of permeability of blood vessels, formation of hemorrhagia, edema of tissue, hemorrhagia of the skin. Uh, so. Sometimes at the severe forms of infection, it causes the formation of toxic shock because uh, hyperbacteremia, uh, hypertoxinemia, decreasing of blood pressure, uh, secondary um, infection, uh, spasm of blood vessels, disturbances of microcirculation, uh, respiratory insufficiency, decreasing of diuresis, renal insufficiency, polyorgans insufficiency, uh, and death of the patients. Activation of kinin-calcrine system, activation of disseminated hemorrhagical syndrome, and the syndrome of intoxication. Sometimes uh, bacteria cause formation of L4 form, form uh, and uh, it characterized by uh, Prolonged persistence of uh, L-form in the phagocytes, formation of um, weak uh, and uh, non-adequate phagocytosis. And with phagocytes, bacteria penetrate to different tissue and cause the progressive of infection. The focus of infection is uh, the skin uh, and uh, uh, it characterized by destruction of the skin, epithelium endothelium uh, and uh, increasing of concentration products of autolysis, endotoxins, endotoxins, exotoxins, and uh, so it causes uh, hypersensitivity reaction, autoimmune reactions, uh, synthesis of immune complex, synthesis of autoantibodies, which cause the destruction of different organs, for example, destruction of endothelial um, cells, myocardium, uh, connective tissue, glomerulus, uh, and formation of touchy tokens. Uh, 
so bacteria keep uh, can keep uh, in microorganism uh, for long times, and it causes the formation of chronic focus of infection, uh, and it causes uh, it keep in phagocytes, macrophages, and uh, it causes uh, formation of uh, uh, focus of infection on the skin and in uh, cases of immunodeficiency conditions it causes activation of those infection uh, so it causes the formation of relapse of erysipelas formation of chronic forms relapse recurrent forms of infection uh, so uh, so in, uh, on morphology we indicate uh, uh, Necrosis uh, of the skin, uh, hyperplasia of lymphoid tissue, because during uh, if uh, bacteria penetrate to skin, then it penetrates to lymphatic nodes, cause uh, hyperplasia of lymphoid tissue, uh, formation of increasing and inflammatory alteration of lymphatic nodes of re, uh, lymphatic uh, vessels, lymphatic nodes. Uh, so then it penetrates to blood and uh, uh, causes the formation of bacteremia and uh, toxinemia. So uh, and uh, then it characterized by syndrome in, of intoxication, high fever. Uh, it characterizes the clinic of those infection. Yes, and local manifestation we indicate uh, edema, hyperemia, uh, hemorrhagical elements of uh, the skin because exotoxin cause increasing of uh, permeability of blood vessels and formation of hemorrhagia on the skin. Uh, so the indication, some clinical forms. Erythematose forms, erythematose bullous forms, uh, hemorrhagical forms, uh, and combined forms of infection. Uh, so the indication localized form, uh, spread form, migrating form, and uh, metastatic forms of infection. So we indicate primary forms, relapse forms after two years, recurrent forms, relapse uh, less than two years. So let's speak about uh, cl clinical forms of erysipelas. So erythematose forms characterized by such clinical symptoms. Acute manifestation, increasing of the temperature, formation of a syndrome of intoxication. And then uh, on the first day of infection, uh, formation of local manifestation of infection Focus of hyperemia, edema, uh, flame edema, uh, and sometimes uh, uh, hemorrhagical elements on edema. So uh, in uh, erythematous uh, forms, we uh, reveal flame edema, yes, and increasing of regional lymphatic nodes. There is no pain, there is no... Um, those uh, syndrome in uh, erysipelas. Uh, so, and uh, we uh, observe syndrome of intoxication. It characterized by uh, higher temperature. Sometimes it in moderate and severe forms. The temperature is more than 38 degrees in moderate forms, and the temperature is more than 40 degrees at the severe forms of infection. Uh, and uh, erythematous bullous forms characterized by uh, manifestation, acute manifestation, higher fever, intoxication, uh, and uh, uh, formation of syndrome of intoxication of the patients, and uh, then a focus of infection on the skin, a focus of erythema, uh, and formation of bullous uh, on those focus of infection. Uh, and uh, bullous with serosal or serosal hemorrhagical uh, 
character. Uh, so increasing of regional lymphatic nodes. So higher fever, intoxication, and uh, formation of erythema with bullous uh, on, on the skin. And increasing of regional lymphatic nodes. Next, erythematous hemorrhagic forms characterized by uh, higher fever, intoxication, formation focus uh, erythema on the skin, uh, hyperemia, edema, flame, edema, flame, hyperemia, and uh, hemorrhagical elements on the skin, uh, and uh, sometimes formation of bullous on the skin. Uh, it can be hemorrhagia, petechia, ecchymos uh, purpura on the skin uh, of the patients. Increasing of regional lymphatic nodes. So we indicate mild, moderate, severe forms of infection. Mild forms characterized by uh, uh, subfibrillated temperature. Moderate form characterized by febrility temperature is more than 38 degrees. And severe forms characterized uh, by uh, the temperature is more than 40 degrees, marked intoxication, uh, formation of cardiovascular insufficiency, decreasing of diuresis, uh, dyspnea, uh, and uh, renal insufficiency, formation of toxic shock. Yes, it's characterized by cardiovascular insufficiency, decreasing of blood pressure, dyspnea, then decreasing of the temperature, encephalopathy, uh, respiratory insufficiency, acrosanosis, renal insufficiency, decreasing of diuresis. So it's clinical characteristic of uh, those clinical forms. More often mild forms characterized by erythematose forms. There is maybe no high fever and marked intoxication. And uh, moderate and severe forms of infection is characterized by erythematose bullous, erythematose hemorrhagical forms uh, and formation of uh, toxic shock, polyorganic insufficiency, and others complications. For example, thrombophlebitis, necrosis of skin of the patients. Uh, and uh, sometimes we indication migrating forms, metastatic forms, uh, and uh, we uh, indication um, recurrent forms when relapse of infection formation less than two years. So, uh, incubation uh, of those infections um, from three up to five days. And we spoke that initial period is period fever, intoxication, skin symptoms. Hyperemia, edema, uh, and uh, on peak of infection, the indication uh, high fever, flames on the skin, and increasing and painful regional lymphatic nodes. Early relapse of infection after six months. Uh, and uh, so uh, it's characterized by different variants of those infections. Uh, and uh, so uh, erysipelas we differentiated with erysipeloids, anthrax, abscess, phlegmona, phlebitis, thrombophlebitis, exam, Dermatitis, toxidermia, sclerodermia, uh, and diffusion disorders uh, of connection tissue. Collagenosis, for example. Uh, Erysbiloids characterized by formation focus hyperemia on, on the hand, on the hand after contact with meat. 
and infection agent is erysipelas. There is no high fever and marked intoxication. Anthrax characterized by uh, formation of uh, carbuncles of the skin uh, and uh, in analysis of the patient contact with agricultural animals, formation of carbuncles with uh, necrosis, edema, sometimes general forms of infection. Abscess, which caused by staphylococcus, for example, fluctuation and purulent exudation. Phlegmons, phlebitis, phlegmons characterized by uh, formation of focus e premier with cyanosis and very painful ele elements. Phlebitis characterized by increasing of the temperature, pain on the veins and formation of thrombosis of blood vessels. Eczema characterized by uh, formation of crests on the skin and exudation. Dermatitis, it is allergic reaction of the patients. Toxidermia, sclerodermia and uh, collagenosis. Uh, so, what about laboratory diagnostic of erysipelas? For example, inflammational alteration of blood, leukocytosis, neutrophilosis, increasing of um, blood sedimentation rate, uh, incre increasing of acute phase reactions, C proteins, fibrin, dedimir, uh, dysproteinemia, so in those patients. Uh, and uh, uh, such complications, abscess, phlegmona, necrosis of the patient's formation of ulcers and necrosis patch on the ulcers. In the patients with severe concomitant disease, for example, phlebitis, tropophlebitis, and sepsis, it is general forms of infection, formation of bacteremia and the toxinemia, uh, formation of metastatic focus of infection, gectic fever, uh, polyogens insufficiency, and tagetogens. And outcomes of erysipelas if is uh, uh, elephantiasis and lymphedema. Elephantiasis and lymphedema. Uh, and treatment of erysipelas, for example, penicillin, uh, for example, one million uh, for time per day during seven days. Cephalosporins, uh, the, for example, cefotoxin, uh, three gram per day during ten days. Cefotoxin, ceftriaxone, uh, Ceftriaxone 2 gram uh, per day during 10 days. Uh, sometimes we administer secondary course of treatments, of antibiotic treatments, macrolides, glycopeptide, fluorokinolones, for example, gentemicine uh, 80 mg to time per day during 7 days. Macrolides, for example, uh, uh, azithromycin, uh, 500 mg per day during 5 days. Infusion therapy, detoxication, uh, and uh, uh, improvement of microcirculation, antipyretic, antihistaminic. Uh, vitamins, metabolic treatment, immunocorrections, and uh, in cases of formation of bullos, for, uh, we administer local treatments, for example, forcelin, solutions of uh, forcelin. And uh, sometimes uh, Bepanten, Dermazine, and ultraviolet radiation.
uh, and prophylactic prevention of reactivation of infection. Bicillin 5 by 105 million with interval of three weeks to time in spring and in autumn during two years. Uh, Bicillin 5 by 1.5 million with interval to uh, three weeks to time in the spring and in autumn during two years for prevention of infections. Then observation the patient during three months in cases uh, recurrent forms of erysipelas, uh, observation during two years. You see uh, erythematous forms of erysipelas. Focus of uh, Hyperemia, flame hyperemia on the face, characterized by higher fever, intoxication, and increasing of submandibular lymphatic nodes. Redvatos gymeragical forms of recipulus you see on the legs uh, and you see the big focus of gyperemia, flame gyperemia with uh, gymeragical elements because destruction of blood vessels, it's characterized by high fever, intoxication, and increasing of regional lymphatic nodes. Erythematous forms of erysipelas, you see edema, gyperemia, yes, on foot of the patient. Uh, there is no gymeragia, there is no bullous. Yes, it is erythematous forms. It's characterized by high fever, intoxication, and focus of flame erythema on the skin. Erythematous gymeragical forms of erysipelas, you see. It is a phase of recovering, yes, decreasing of manifestation of erythema. You see uh, some cyanotic elements of the skin. And uh, on the skin, we indication some gymeragia, yes, sometimes uh, some elements of gymeragical elements. We must remember that uh, erysipelas with gymeragical elements is characterized by higher fever, intoxication, destruction of blood vessels, formation of gymeragical syndrome. Bullous, gymeragical bullous forms of erysipelas on the face. You see formation of uh, edema, gyperemia, flame gyperemia on the face, formation of bullous on the face, formation of some crest of, on the nose. Yes, it's characterized by high fever, intoxication, increasing of submandibular lymphatic nodes because bacteria um, penetrate to lymphatic nodes and cause the proliferation of lymphoid tissue. So it is elderly patients with severe concomitant disease, with uh, endocrinological disorders, yes, 
uh, sometimes for uh, the patients with uh, tropical disorders of um, skin, uh, for, for example, tropical ulcers, and uh, so it causes the focus of infection. So bullous forms, gemeragical forms, bullous gemeragical forms, you see focus gyperemia, edema, uh, formation of bullous, serosal exudation uh, of the patient, uh, very big focus of erysipelas. Differentiation, you see thrombophlebitis, you see a formation of gyperemia uh, on the veins of the patient, formation of thrombus of the patient. It's characterized by the uh, thin pain on the legs, on the veins, and uh, sometimes increasing of the temperature. Trophic ulcer. Trophic ulcer, you see with necrosis, it is focus of infection, and sometimes uh, streptococcus penetrate to uh, this uh, ulcer, to skin, to blood, to tissue, and cause the infections and manifestation of erysipelas. Skin necrosis, yes, skin necrosis. There is no flame gyperemia, edema, yes, and we see uh, ulcers with necrosis and rejection of necrosis. Uh, sometimes a relapse of uh, erysipelas causes formation of tropical disorders of the skin and formation of uh, hyperpigmentation and formation of uh, tropical disorders of the tissue of the patients, elephantiasis, edema of uh, skin of leg. Eczema, you see, uh, elements, papule elements, uh, exudation sometimes, peeling exudations. There is no high fever intoxications. Now, thank you for your time and uh, on the next lecture we will speak, on the next part uh, of the lecture uh, we will speak uh, about anthrax.